And welcome back to Across the Board here with E and the Colonel on hawkradio.org and across the board radio dot com. And again, we keep talking about the incredible bands that we've been able to see this year, you know, Warp Tour and all of these places and bands that we're big fans of because that's all we interview here, people that we are fans of. And uh, Miss May I is definitely one of those bands. She's such a huge fan of these guys, uh, fan of these guys, um, you know. We have Ryan Neff with us right now. Ryan is the vocalist and bassist with the band. Ryan, how are you today, man? Pretty good, man. How are you? Good, good. I know you, in there. you guys are <laughs> embarking on the tour, um, you know, getting out there with such incredible bands that, you know, we just had the Devil Wears Prada on the show, um, you know, Of Mice and Men, some of these great bands that you guys get to go out with. What are you most looking forward to on the tour, you know, being being a part of a tour with these bands? Uh, we're about to do a tour with um, the the Two bands closest to us on the bill are actually good friends of ours, and it's uh, it's always fun to go back on a tour where uh, we've already hung out and made friends with all the bands. Uh, the tour we're about to do, uh, we'll be supporting We Came as Romans, who we've done two tours with, and uh, actually the last two tours we've done uh, were with We Came as Romans, one in Europe, and then Warp Tour as well. And then of Mice and Men, we also were on Warp Tour with, um, have known those guys for a while. So um, I'm just the coolest thing about what we do is. Uh, the people that we get to hang out with. It's, our job really is, you know, the the playing the show is the smallest part. The biggest part of our job is we pretty much just hang out with fans and hang out with other cool bands nonstop. Nice. That's not a bad job, I'd say. You know, to get paid to do that for a living is, is pretty incredible. Um, okay, so we talked about you were on the Warp Tour and everything, and we went to Warp Tour in Virginia Beach. Didn't get to, to uh, hang out with you guys backstage, but we were there, saw a lot of the shows. Uh, craziest story from Warp Tour this summer. Feel, we can edit anything out that, need, that needs to be edited out, but feel free to, uh, um, to, to share. Uh, we, it was a pretty calm. Uh, it, and people would get drunk here and there, you know, that sort of thing. But on the bus, it was our first tour at the bus. The bus was actually pretty calm. I think the, the craziest thing for us was usually the uh, 30 minutes a day where we were playing. Um, the changeovers were 20 minutes long, mm-hmm. but no one shares gear on that tour. So the crews are rushing and hurrying, trying to get the gear off stage and then get our gear on stage and everything set up, get these scrims up there, get a sound check. Uh, and then we would get on stage and we had uh, we had a reaction on the whole tour that was way bigger than what anyone expected us to. Um, there was uh, always a need for more security. Um, we got in trouble for trying to crowd surf security guards sometimes, <laughs> uh, jumping in the crowd, diving off the stage, uh, trying to get as many people to crowd surf and do uh, crazy things like uh, marathon circle pits where we try to make them run around like three or four separate tents at once. And Hell yeah. Walls of death. And mostly Warped Tour was just all about the show. It was so hot this summer that yes, it was. until 8 or 9 o'clock at night, no one really did anything. Yeah. It was so hot that getting off the bus was miserable. I have to say I was exposed to a lot of new bands when I was on, when I got to see the Warped Tour. For sure. What band really made an impression on you that was on the Warp Tour as well? Uh, that was the first time we toured with uh, August Burns Red. But bands that weren't metal on the tour, there were a lot of uh, cool bands on the tour that were totally different from us. Like uh, Yellow Wolf was on half the tour. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Bossy Shazam was on half the tour. Right. right. Which, who were unreal. Uh, Bad Rabbits was really cool. Everybody um, loved them. Yeah, there were so many different genres of bands. Uh, I have to say the Wonder Years was probably my favorite though. One of all years. the bands we toured with them once, but they're good friends of ours and they're a really awesome pop punk band. And uh, it was pretty cool to watch them play on like the the amphitheater stage and pull as many kids as the big metal bands were on our stage. And you know they're packing two thousand kids inside the amphitheater sometimes. Yeah, they're they are a great band. Uh, I, I've been listening to a lot of their their stuff uh, recently as well. But tell me, you got to see P Lander Z? I did not see P Lander Z. Oh. <laughs> you gotta go check these guys out. They wow, like, that was probably the most crazy thing I've ever seen. Like in a, a real show. life Japanese cartoon. But anyway, let's get oh, back. Yes, to... I did see that. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. I really had no idea. Nope. I just saw people running around in costumes and jumping off stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah nobody yeah, I was knows really what confused. what they are. Yeah, yeah. I'm... yeah they, it was interesting. They're amazing. But it, yeah, anyway, back to Miss May I. <laughs> <laughs> back to you guys. So you guys have covered a lot of songs like "Run This Town." Um, you know, you, you covered that, you know, on Pop uh, Goes Punk. Are there any songs that you guys haven't yet covered that you would like to, of any genre? Um, 
I don't know. If, I don't know if we're really going to do any covers right now, just because uh, it's already been like a year and a year and two months or something like that since the last album came out. So everybody said it's pretty much full into writing this uh, new album that we're going to record. So uh, covers, I think, will come again in the future. I mean, they're they're enjoyable for everybody and they're fun to get into them. Uh, by covering a giant song, I mean, you just open up the opportunity to appeal to a lot of new people. I mean, if a million people like a song and your band covers it and, you know, half of those million people end up liking your song, then we end up being a huge fan, and that's pretty cool. Right. So, and it makes everybody else happy because they're having a good time at the show. Um, I can tell you that Swing probably won't be played live anymore, though. Now We, we kind of put the nail in the coffin on Warped Tour. We've played it every tour, and now we... Uh, I think we finally finished it out on Warped Tour, so we can start adding some more new songs in. Right. And I assume that, you know, with your last album, it was Monument, it came out last year, you've also released a deluxe edition of that album, correct? It came out um, a couple months ago. Yeah, yeah, that came out right at the beginning of Warped Tour. And mm-hmm. uh, we dropped that so that we could... Uh, we didn't want to drop a whole new album yet. Uh, we just felt it was a little too soon to drop a, a brand new album. Right. Um, so what we did is we just took all those songs from Monument, Packaged them with a uh, a really cool DVD, and uh, also just put three brand new songs on there. So the deluxe edition actually has three songs that had never been released until that came out. Great. Which we will be playing one of those starting on this next tour. Ooh. Nice. Always go out. And- Always good to get a little bit of inside information. Isn't it? it is, <laughs> it, and it's another reason to go. Like you know, we constantly say that go see bands live. I mean, music is great on CDs, but go see bands live. You right. should experience music. In our opinion, not just listen to it. So that's another great reason to go see these guys live because they're playing new songs that you may not have heard yet. Um, you know, really love checking that out. Uh, something we like to ask all of our guests, Ryan, if you knew there were ten minutes left you know, before the world ends, what is the last song that you would want to hear or perform? It can be yours or anybody else's. If I had to play a in this May I song, um, I would probably just play Relentless Chaos because it's everyone's favorite. Mm-hmm. So. Good call. That's always the most fun. If I had to play any song, um, or listen to I, your call. Since this is such a such a uh, kind of an out there question, I'm just giving an out there answer. I would just join Queens of the Stone Age and play any song they would let me. Again, you're listening to Across the Board with Ian the Colonel and Ryan Neff of Miss May I is with us right now. Uh, Ryan, you guys started as such a young band. I mean, you guys were 16 when you started. Not a not a lot older than that now. How does that affect you know the, not only the music, the way you guys write music, but the way you guys live your lives uh, you know out there on tour? We the, when we first started touring, um, we had no established credibility. We had no tour experience. All we had was an album that was from what everybody, all everyone knew about our band was the bio that was put on our MySpace at the time. Because right. When our first album came out, that that is what music was of our genre. If you weren't if you weren't hitting it up on MySpace, then you weren't really doing anything. And our bio said uh, five dudes all under nineteen, which technically was untrue because I was twenty one at the time. Okay, but we just let it slip. But everyone <laughs> else literally started touring six days after they graduated. Wow! So it, it kind of was a uh, I had toured. Uh, in another band before that right. before coming back from this May I had to start touring with them and the uh, I kind of I was used to touring but right off the bat from the first tour we did everything just kind of stacked on top of it. it everything just it continued to go uphill for us it was a really easy transition to start um, but the, the being young just I don't want to say it got uh a certain amount of disrespect, but it definitely took us a little bit longer to um, make people think of us as a metal band. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than look at us as a group of kids out there, you know, trying to feel a limelight. We were just, we were young kids who loved metal the whole time we were in high school from every band that we started, and we got lucky enough to start touring when we were young. But uh, as far as when we come home, it's, I feel like we're pretty similar to everybody else. Uh, we're all moving out of our parents' house now, you know, uh, for the <laughs> yeah. first time. Uh, everybody's got their big boy britches on trying to stretch their legs and be real adults when we're home. But when right. we're on tour, it's, 
it's exactly the same as it was from day one. It's unload the gear, play the best show we can, meet the fans, and then just move on to the next one. Nice. Now, you mentioned doing something with this new studio album. Are you going to work with Joey Sturgis again on that album? No. We actually will be announcing everything we're doing soon. I would announce that, but I have a feeling if I announced all those plans, I'd probably get in trouble. Right. So, Fair uh, enough. We will not, I know that we, we won't be going to Joey. We already have it locked in when and where we're going. Okay. Um, we've already started writing. I can tell you about the writing. We uh, spent all of Warp Tour free throwing with... Uh, our friend Chris Ruby from the Devil Wars Prada. Okay. Uh, we wrote three new songs already, uh, just on Warp Tour. Um, we're going full speed ahead. We're trying to have uh, the longest album we've ever written. Our first two were only ten songs, and we just feel like uh, to, to be able to sell CDs in this day and age, we just need more bang for the buck. So we're trying to we're trying to knock out an eleven or twelve song CD so that there's uh, plenty of new music for everyone. Um, but we won't be recording until at least January because when we leave for tour tomorrow, we're not off again until December 15th. Wow. <laughs> uh, just never ends. The days blend together, yeah. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, no complaints there, though. Uh, I don't I don't think you'll catch any less complaining about having the opportunity to play shows every day. How do you unwind, you know, when you do get home? I know you said, you know, moving away from home, all that kind of stuff. You guys are trying to get yourselves together as adults. But, you know, how do you unwind when you get home? How do you how do you be normal again? I mean, just chill or play uh, Xbox? Everybody or... kind of has their own, their own thing that they do. Levi is, uh, Levi is just so uh, into – he's always busy. He's got Versa Limited going on. He's got uh, band responsibility that he takes care of, just like the rest of us. But I don't really think he winds down. I'm pretty sure that he's stressed out all the time. <laughs> uh, he's just one of those dudes who's always working. Um, I feel like uh, our guitar player and I, DJ, we are pretty much the same person. I know exactly what the two of us do. We sit down at home, uh, hang out with our silver surfer vaporizers, and eat pizza, and I hang out with my girlfriend and watch TV. I mean, I try to be as lazy and uh, lethargic as possible while I'm home just so that I can... You know, uh, make up for all of the uh, neck thrashing and stage diving <laughs> crazy stuff we do while we're gone. You know, looking forward to this new album. You know, that will come out. We'll say what, maybe next fall, next late next summer. Um, I, I, we're hoping for spring. Uh, we're trying to we're trying to get everything. We're trying to be adults, like I said, and be organized this time, and you know, think ahead rather than uh, react to how things uh, happen. And uh, we're trying to get everything. As far as album title, artwork, all of that sort of thing, we want to try and get it done early this time so that as soon as that studio time is up, we can get that record finished and have it sent in. And we would like to have a spring release if we could. Yeah. Spring Rob. or early summer. Uh, um, we don't want to, we don't, we are exactly like the kids. We don't want to wait for it any longer either. We, we like writing music, we like playing new songs, so we are just as excited as everyone else about the chance to have. 12 new songs out there. Nice, yeah, because we we'll don't want to wait. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to wait either. Uh, do we have a title for the new album yet? or? Is uh, no, uh, we don't have a title yet. Uh, like I said, we've got uh, three tracks pretty much done and then two more working tracks that are uh, kind of skeleton. Um, we do, like I said, we know where we're recording. It's all the dates are already set and everything. We'll just make, a, make an official announcement on all that stuff here soon. But, uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure we're going with the album title yet. Um, we uh, uh, we like the uh, lion theme. I think we might stick with that. We might go in another direction. Um, who knows? We'll might, see be, what happens. might be something metal like Dead Deer Dam or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It, it definitely will be metal. That's that's the one word that I think I can definitely say will describe the new album. Is the only word that we're thinking of when we write the new one is metal. Nice. I like it. Again, uh, Ryan Neff from Miss May I. Ryan, uh, your people are hearing you around the world right now. How can they keep up with you online and, uh, and further tours? Uh, we grew up in the wonderful MySpace, Facebook era. Mm -hmm. So we are as into all of the social media sites as everyone else out there. You can follow the band specifically on Twitter. Uh, you can follow the band on Facebook. Um, we're working on the Tumblr. I recently became obsessed with Tumblr. Okay. So I'm making a nice band one. Um, there are endless ways to follow the band. Every band member has a Twitter. Every band member has a Facebook. I have my own Facebook fan page. Uh, so does Levi. Um, we do talk back to people on all this. So if you want to get in touch with us, 
tell us uh, how our music has affected you or if we suck or whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to let us know, you can find all of us online. Nice. Very good. We'll do that then for sure. Uh, again, Ryan, we appreciate it. Miss May I, uh, new album coming out next spring, but the re-release came out this year. Go get it. See these guys live. We can tell you from personal experience, incredible band. Absolutely. Uh, and, and that's what you need to do. Experience music. Don't just listen to it. But certainly buy the CDs and, yes. and, and MP3s and, and download them as well. So, uh, Legally. We'll be back in just a few here at Across the Board with Ian the Colonel uh, on hawkradio.org. And acrossthebordradio.com.